So welcome. This is another community request video. Uh, we've actually had, had a few requests, uh, mainly from not going to say the name. Midnight meow. Would like to know how to set up cropped images. Uh, so when you're actually uh, viewing uh, a desktop, uh, for example, or playing a game, instead of it being full, it'd be like this. So it's more cropped. So it's a fairly easy task to do. The way you go about this is actually by creating scenes. Okay, so. To do this then, uh, the easiest way is to basically add and, well, redo the scene. So I'm going to use one that I've already got created here, which I use for my desktop YouTube capture. And in order to change it and enable it to be cropped, um, we'll add in the the camera here. Uh, just ignore the background. I know this isn't the best way to do it, but you guys will get the idea. So add in the video capture device. Add it in there. Add in the Kyo. Oh, look, there I am. So there we go, we're about where we need to be now. So now we've got this added, we actually need to crop the scene rather than the camera. Because if you do the camera, that will affect everything everywhere. If you go into here, go to filters, add the filter and you crop it here, it will actually cause this camera to be cropped wherever you go. Because um, it'll, it'll affect it on every single scene. What you want to do is you want to create a scene crop. So to do that, you right click on here and go to filters here, add the filter, choose crop, apply it, and then you actually crop the scene itself. So we can drop this to say, let's make it, let's let's make actually, instead of cropping, we're just gonna change the color so it's easily seen. Um, so we'll add in, what should we add? Let's do, um, let's do a color correction. Let's make something crazy here. Let's, yeah, let's, let, there we go. We'll just make ourselves really saturated so we can see the difference here. So we go done. So we've now got a full screen capture where I'm alien, so that's going to be interesting. Um, we'll pop back on over to say our live scene. No, let's do. Let's go back to desktop share. So we've got a little image of me down the bottom right, which is using another scene. And we want to add this scene in um, to enable us to basically be a different color. Um, you'll get the same concept. Uh, so if we go into add uh, and we go into 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 scene, yep. <laughs> add source, and I'll ask you which scene you want to import. So if we go to our desktop YouTube capture, we can see ourselves there. Add source. And now obviously you can resize it. Now you can copy it and move it about and obviously resize it. Now we've got two different versions. We've got normal me this side or that side, whichever way you want to look at it. And you've got obviously the weird alien like me at the top left up here. So that's the way you do it. That's weird. Let's let's get rid of that for the time being. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Remove. Remove that. So as you can see, it's a very quick video on how to actually make that change. It doesn't take long at all. Um, you just need to be essentially willing to create an extra scene and copy that scene in. Um, you can add whatever filters you want to that scene as long as you apply it to the scene and not the camera itself. Um, otherwise, if you do it to the camera, as I said, that will then copy it across to every single place you're using that camera. So always make sure you do it as an extra scene if you want to get different crops, different saturation, alien looking like I was if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, if, if you want any other tips like this, let me know in the comments below. And um, if I don't know them, I'll figure them out and let you know how to do it. This guide is obviously for Streamlabs OBS, but if you use OBS as well, the, the guide is pretty much the same. You're still clicking exactly the same items. Hope you enjoyed the new microphone, by the way. It took me some time to configure that. Definitely recommend it. Review for this might be coming soon as well if you guys want it. This is currently a Wave 3 rather than a Wave. I got this one because I wanted to, when I do do a review, I wanted to make sure that is it worth the extra money or should you just stick with the with the standard Wave 1 for streaming. So um, yeah, if you guys want to see that, make sure you pop that down in the comments below as well. Um, links down below for the Discord and Twitch. I currently stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. If you have any questions about this, feel free to hop on there, rewatch it if you want to, um, or pop it in the comments below and I'm more than happy to respond to you. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And um, yeah, I'll create more content like this if you need it. Oh, and as always, make sure you have a really great stream. And um, I'll see you guys around. See ya. Damn, look at that snow. We got, to, we got a lot of snow going outside. Hope you guys are keeping safe. See you around.